this truck came to the shop because it was having problems. Uh, turbo fell. The turbo started smoking, is letting oil all over the place, and uh, yeah, as consequence, we had a lot of smoke and everything. And also injectors went bad, and we needed to do the injectors and this uh, engine and all that. So uh, basically, common problems, and you're gonna see on these uh, DD15 engines, nothing major. Um, but uh, once we got that done, of course, right, we have a lot of fuel over the place and oil over the place because the injectors and, um, and the oil of the turbo went to the DPF filters, went to the AGR cooler. So we had to remove all these components to get them cleaned up. It was a lot of oil and fuel then was all over the engine. So it was easier to remove all these components. So we did that, we cleaned the engine and everything completely. And once we got that done, what we did is leave the engine running. Uh, of course, right, and um, to really warm these engines up, there is no way to actually leave the engine just running and let the hot temperature go to the engine and make the engine have some pressure. So there is no way unless you do a region. So we decided to do a region to the truck because we needed to test the performance of the engine anyway after a turbo replacement and after injector replacement the engine has to be working fine there shouldn't be any issues so after this engine run a full region the engine start making a noise This noise was uh, coming uh, from the bottom of the engine, which is weird. And uh, I, I saw a couple little key uh, moments on this uh, uh, problem. I noticed that the oil pressure wasn't building that high when the engine was around 1000 RPMs, which means then we have a problem with the engine. But this is the point on this. So here we have this engine then came to the shop with zero issues about problems on the crankshaft didn't have no problems at all and uh, of course right we were doing repairs on the engine but we didn't touch absolutely nothing not even the oil filter nothing we actually inspect the oil, all the components if we didn't have no fuel and everything of course we replaced the oil right we did drain the oil and we installed uh, and we uh, apply new oil to this engine we uh, fill it with new oil because that oil was contaminated with fuel and oil because the compression uh, of the engine is going to let, let some fuel and oil leak out to the crankcase and that crankcase system is going to is going directly to the oil so that is going to um, is going to uh, make uh, this uh, oil bad so we did replace the oil and uh, well and the engine went bad, so it's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, we haven't opened this engine, we haven't checked the engine internally, of course there is a problem, probably one connecting rod is bad. That's usually the major problem on these DD15 engines, connecting rod goes bad and then uh, the engine doesn't rotate anymore. So the engine starts still, still starts, but it doesn't run perfect. It's gonna make a big noise uh, and that is not going to be good. So. The point of this video is to tell you that even though the engines are running perfectly, it doesn't mean that they are not exposed to problems. And in this case, this engine didn't have any problems with any crankshaft, any bearings or something. But after the problems, probably what happened, what I believe is then the owner of this truck brought it to the shop after the engine uh, had the problem with the turbo. So the turbo got destroyed and they started letting oil to the combustion chamber. So I believe what happened is then the engine ran away. It ran away because there was so much oil in the system and that oil went directly to the combustion chambers of this engine and of course it ignited the compression so high and the engine revved so high. So probably they were, were able to stop the engine but they weren't able to save the engine because the engine got destroyed. So 
this is my point of view. I don't have a guarantee that this happened. But if for any reason, for any reason you are driving a truck, if it's your truck or a company truck, and you feel or you hear or you see then there is a leak on the intake side or the turbo intake exhaust or any area of the turbo there is a leak of fuel or oil don't run the engine anymore because the engine can run away and when that happens the engine can destroy itself and there is no way to stop it easily so the only way to stop these engines especially on manual transmissions, you are able to stop it. On automatic transmissions, you're done. If the engine runs away, there is nothing to do because automatic transmissions don't work that like that. But if you have a manual transmission, you can apply a low gear and just let the engine die with, uh, release the clutch and let the engine die. That would be, but the ignition has to be off. Um, and that will be the only way to stop these engines. The, other than that, there is no other way to stop these engines from destroying themselves. Um, and um, there is no much to say it's about that. There is no much to say about this problem because um, this doesn't happen every day when an engine had a problem with a turbo or injectors, and suddenly the connecting rod goes bad, a connecting bearing goes bad. That is something that you don't see every day. But if that happens to you, please don't let the engine run anymore. Tow it to the nearest shop or to the shop that you trust. Tow it, get it repaired, and once it is repaired, you can start the engine. Uh, other than that, if you do it the other way, like uh, if the turbo goes bad and you drive your truck all the way there, something can happen because all the oil is fuel and that oil is going to go directly to the combustion chamber. But if you want to run your truck all the way to the, to the nearest city, all you have to do is disconnect the turbo hoses. So all the turbo hoses, the intake turbo hose right here has to be disconnected completely. So that way all the oil or the fuel or whatever you have in here runs uh, out of the engine so that is going to be split out no it's not going inside the engine so this is going to be spread all over the truck but not it is not going to destroy your engine that will be the safest way to do that but um, it is just a little recommendation that i told and will be helpful for you guys since many of you guys don't know when uh, problems like this happens and uh, there is no way to to tell that anyway so but if you see any type of details about your engine is getting up or is leaking oil on the turbo or the injectors are getting bad shut the engine off and don't run it until you get a repair that will be the safest and will save your engine too because now we have sixteen thousand twenty thousand dollar repair to do for a mistake so uh this is all i'm going to share with you on this video um, you have any questions about it comment below if you have any experience with you driving a truck and the turbo goes bad the injector goes bad and the engine runs away that is something that you can share on the comment section because that is important information for all of you and for me as well we can all learn out of you if you have comments like that uh, um, it's important to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the contents then the any of the newest contents that i am uh, uploading every day uh, that way you are going to inform with the newest videos i have for you with more information about that uh, go to instagram if you're gonna see me directly and check the other things that i'm doing besides stroking that way uh, you can be more connected to me Re remember to like the video share it and thank you for watching.